Okay. Sure. Are you ready now, dog? Yeah, I should be good now. Okay. Last session, you had a fight, rather brutal bit of combat against the uh, Bobby Yaga, basically, the creeping oh, yeah, hut. Tree. Uh, I you killed it. managed to destroy it, uh, leading to the party receiving a number of things. You found a bag containing a bunch of wolfsbane. Uh, you found a vial of liquid, uh, two spell scrolls, which I believe were given to the clerics. Uh, they were a spell scroll of Massacre Wounds and a spell scroll of Revivify. Yeah, uh, there was a pouch purpose. of sling bullets, plus one sling bullets, ten of them. And then you found a stone, a set of pipes, like musical pipes, and a gem that you took from the tree. Yep. Uh, I think I was trying to attune to the blowing pipes. Okay. And I would like to get attuned to the bucket straw. Yep. Anything else anybody wants to attune to? I'd like to cure my licking. <laughs> Do you have uh, spell slots for that? It would take the remove curse. I have no. one spot. Okay. If you've got the spell slot, uh, you can remove the curse on one person for now. I think I'm the only one that has it. No, I have uh, it. You have it, and uh, Purple has it. Is he? I thought Purple didn't get it. Purple boy, yeah, Pur have purple, it. Chrisania, uh, purple, Chrisania, and Dio had it. Okay. Why do I have 12 to have temporary hit points? Where did those I don't come know. From? I know what do you... Did you just I... put temporary hit points on yourself at one point and forgot to I take them off? I never... I never touched temporary hit points. I don't think I've ever had temporary hit points. I don't know why they're there. I don't have anything to give you temporary hit points, and neither did my previous character. I'm just gonna take those away. Oh, yep, zero. Maybe it's something my class gave me? Or a protection. Alright. Yep. Well. How long before this is for the full moon? Uh, the full moon will happen the next night from now. So yeah. you've you've got basically a long rest and then the next evening will be a full moon. Basically, so you you, you have enough time to, to prevent or to remove the curse from yourself and also purple. We, uh, we got by by a, the skin of our teeth. I want to remove curse on purple. Okay, you do want it on purple first. Okay, uh, purple. Yes. Uh, Chrysania using the added component of Wolfsbane has removed the curse of lycanthropy from you. Thank you. You did have the curse of lycanthropy. Because, fun fact, you don't know for sure. So, uh, while you're doing that... Uh, some people were attuning to things. Liam, you have attuned to the Tome of Strahd. Uh, you have no issues doing that at all. I don't even need to reveal anything because they're in the they're in the game. Yep, we already have it. What's in the game? Hmm? Also, uh, yeah, the two straw the two straws right here. There is. Yeah. Also, uh, how's my sword currently feeling? Your sword? The lost sword. It says it communicates by transmitting emotion to the creature. 
I mean, it hasn't really been communicating with you. Okay. Uh... Keegan. The, uh, the pipes that you're attuning to, uh, you discover them to be a set of pipes of haunting. Okay. Uh, pipes of haunting are... here they are. You must be proficient with wind instruments to use these pipes. Oh, you don't have to attune to these. Oh. Okay, they're not attunement. All right, cool. Uh, you must be proficient with wind instruments to use these pipes. So if anybody has wind instrument proficiency, speak up. Let me check. Uh, they have three charges. You can use an action to play them and expend one charge to create an eerie spellbinding tune. Each creature within 30 feet of you that hears... You play must succeed on a wisdom save or become frightened for one minute. I only have I it. I can't. I have it. I do well, have one, but only specifically on. I have a bagpipe. That kind of is a wood instrument? No. Uh, bagpipes? I wouldn't believe so. For, for instrument proficiency, would be counted as wind instrument. Oh. I can use it when I get okay. You can use it. Then yeah, I'll I give you the. Wind, um, but I got boats. I'll give you the uh, the um, thing then. The set of blowing pipes. Of. Um, right. uh, dog, you can add pipes of haunting to your character sheet. Uh, they're in the compendium. Oh okay. So it's a DC fifteen wisdom save, uh, with a range of thirty feet. Every creature within range must succeed. Including your allies. Yes, yeah, so you can affect your allies with it. I don't know. Thing. I I would try to attune to the green glowing gem, but I highly doubt it's anything. <laughs> I mean, it might be, but it's not likely. You could get it locked out and see what it is. There's nobody here who has identify, and nobody. I didn't mean anymore. to click that. That was an accident. I that do something? Nope. I'm uh, going to turn that off. What about the other thing that you have there in your inventory, Keegan? Oh, the stone? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll try to return to that. Okay. Uh, you spend the hour to return to that, uh, and discover it to be a stone of good luck. Oh, cool. Uh, this polished agate... While it is on your person and you're attuned to it, you gain a plus one to your ability checks and saving throws. Okay, I'll add that. Uh, does that apply to uh, spell saving throws as well? No, it's a DC, never mind. No, it's your saving throws and ability checks. So your global ability modifier and your global yeah. save modifier should be plus one. Uh, dog. Yes, sir. Were you going to give anybody the icon? Um, the icon of sin. Wait, was that the one? Wait, which icon was that? Sorry, didn't I give that to the cleric? He gave that to me. I'm pretty sure, didn't he? It's that little statuette that you had. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure I gave that to a cleric. Which cleric? Um, I think it was... We've got two clerics now. I'm pretty sure it was Carlton. I did okay. it. I don't see anything in my inventory. I think we're waiting because uh, you want to hear it at the time. But I wanted to give it to him, rather. Well, he also has the holy symbol of Ravenkind. <laughs> In that case, I'll give yeah. it to... I mean, I, I don't really care who gets it. I'll give it to, um... Jory, if not. Okay. Uh, Jory? Are you going to attune to it? Uh, sure. Are you good? What's your alignment? Uh, I am neutral good. Okay. Okay. 
you are neutral good, so you can attune to the icon of Ravenloft. The icon is a 12 inch statuette made of silver weighing 10 pounds. Uh, whilst within 30 feet of the icon, a creature is under the effect of protection of good and evil against fiends and undead. Only a creature attuned to it can use its other properties. So all of you who are within 30 feet of it have protection from evil and good against spell against fiends and undead. Cool. Uh, Jory, you can use Augury. Uh, you can cast Augury from the icon with no material components uh, once a day. Uh, you can use it as a holy symbol whilst using Turn Undead or Turn the Unholy. If you do so, you increase the save by two. And while you're holding it, you can take an action to heal one creature that you can see within 30 feet of you. They regain 3d8 plus 3 hit points. Uh, and you can't use it again until dawn. So you got a, you got Augury... Uh, your turn undead DC is increased by 2, and uh, you can heal for 3d8 plus 3. Once okay, that's good. And uh, I get destroy... I... Wait, is that turn undead or destroy undead? Turn undead. Okay. Destroy undead is just turn undead. Okay. And it, so, like, it, it, it only will fit, it'll only work on... When you get it, it'll only work on uh, CR one quarter, I think. I think so, yeah. And then CR one half, and then CR one. It takes a while for you to make it. it, it it's not useful. I mean, it's great for clearing like crowds, but that's pretty much what I've used it for. Yeah, clearing crowds of the weaker undead, like zombies and skeletons and stuff. All right, well, everybody's got magic items they're attuned to. Uh, so, now that you have essentially prevented your party from succumbing to lycanthropy, What's the next plan of action? Likely take a long rest. Long rest. Long rest. Long, 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 long. Well deserved well, rest. That, that was kind of an assumption. Sleep, I'm pretending to be dead. It's not something against a tree. I am a skeleton. Damn it, overslept and slept to the full moon. Just sleep until a full moon. Go right ahead and feel I'll free to take a rest. Away. You know, I haven't actually never used my channel divinity yet. So I'll use that. Maybe you should use that. Whoa, I can use cure wounds from a range with this. Damn. That's cool. Where did you yeah. get it? It's a, it, well, you can only do that once, but yeah. Once a day. You can also cast Augury with it, which is... Oh, well, I'm not going to say it's good, but it's not bad. Ooh, that one's pretty good. Hmm, that's a pretty good channel divinity. Hmm? I'm just checking my channel divinities out. I might use one in the next fight. Is that the one that, like, buffs your attack? No, it's the one that uh, scares people, because Aura of Conquest. Uh, oh, right, you, yeah. Your moment to zero. Yeah, you're, you're, the, you're the one with fear and stuff. Yeah, but uh, there's also uh, another one that I haven't read. You chose oh, the fear, fear 
paladin against undead who don't get feared. Not all things are undead, Gory. What do you mean against undead that don't get feared? You know the frightened condition is like what uh, your turning does, right? Yeah, but that's. I think that's different, isn't it? They're not immune to the frightened condition. Oh. They're immune to other conditions, but not frightened. They're probably immune to uh, most of them aren't. But there, there are undead that are immune to it, but those also typically come with like turn resistance and shit. Not resistant. Aha! I'm scaring vampires with my terrifying helmet. Well, you take your long rest wherever you're planning it. Either in the abbey where it's vampire proof or in the inn where you can, for the most part, a couple of you get free beds, I think. I'm going back to the inn. Well, yeah, Cosania gets a free bed. They have wine. I'm also going to the inn and I'll pay uh, where I need to. Uh, I'm going to you don't need to. You're Burbeard. You, you also helped with the problem. Well, technically, yeah. I'm, I'm Burbeard, but I don't look like Burbeard. Right now, you're all covered up, so it's kind of hard to tell. Right now, I'm covered in the most weirdest uh, array of assortment of things. Uh, right now, I would I would say that you are currently covered up in full plate, remember? Full plate, and I have a helmet. Uh, a yeah, helmet that, that crazy, looks... crazy three-faced helmet. Yeah, the crazy three-faced helmet. And little have bits necklace... of silk, um, a silk blanket shoved into the cracks. No, no, that's not uh, that anymore. The oh, helmet okay. actually covers the whole thing, I think. The whole face and everything. From what the picture looks like. I also have, uh... I have, uh, t multiple necklaces on. And a shield. Yeah. Oh, oh and a flying machine is strapped to my back at all times. I can't use it, but it's there. Kind of kids and they're flying machine. <laughs> I can't actually use the flying machine because I weigh too much. Right. Well, uh, you can have your long rests. Uh, I'm, I'm going to assume that people who aren't getting free room, are you buying or... I don't think I'm I can afford one, so I'm going to go back to the church. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to sleep well. in the church. That's fine. You are welcome to the church. And after you all get your long rest in, morning comes. And I assume the first thing Chrysania does in the morning is remove curse. God, yes. Yep. All right. Uh, you use the components of Wolfsbane and remove the curse from yourself. You too had lycanthropy. And with Are that, you... the party. And with that, the party has uh, fully cured themselves of their werewolf lycanthropy. Well, not fully, but. Technically, there's one of us, but he's not with us now. The so, were turtle. What's the plan now uh, as you all reconvene at the church? Well, I don't reconvene at the church because I can't go into the church. Well, as you all reconvene around the church, <laughs> we'll, we'll yell out to you. Thing, Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> well, I'm going to go Throwing scare the uh... hell out of them. <laughs> I'm gonna go scare Buzz. Yeah. Buzz, I have a message from your master. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Quote the Raven, Wait. nevermore. I like that the character actually had, um, had it's him as he has gone, but he's still in the world. Team. Just start quoting, um, 
quoting that one book. <laughs> My next character will speak nothing but in, but in the Raven. Um, that's the only words it will ever say. Quoth the Raven nevermore. You can only say three words and that's it. Well, have you got any ideas on what you're going to be doing now? Well, we should probably go get the rest the rest of the cards. What do we need to do? Uh, I think you've only got one card left. Yeah, and we know exactly where it is. Oh. We don't Back up the mountain I go. <laughs> Back up the mountain we go, I guess. I was gonna I say, don't. I don't think you we have, up uh... there. I mean, I don't we could break we... back into the, um... <laughs> we could break back into the thing and get it. Just go to the teleportation thing in his, ta his castle. <laughs> um, I don't think we have the one that was in Strahd Castle. What? The one that was in, so in... That was one said to be in Strahd's castle. I don't think we ever got that one. No, me? You did. Yeah, I have it. You did? It was the oh. uh, the icon, I believe. Remember, I used. Remember when I was playing his character for him, I used it. Yeah, hey, it's the uh, it's the hey. holy symbol of great hope. So since uh, we have uh since we have like one uh what's it called again uh one card left. Does that mean we have one level up left before I destroy its rod? Yep. That depends. Level seven's away. Our first step then should probably be getting uh, winter equipment. And climbing gear. That too. Well, I don't know about you, but I have no bone. I have no skin. I can't feel cold. Rattle me bones. <laughs> Rattle me bones! That is true. Uh, Leon does not require uh, winter gear. Hmm. He still needs climbing gear, though. But as l but make sure you do not lick the uh, armor. Your tongue will get stuck to it. Hey Keegan. Yeah. Take a look at um, Messenger for a minute. I sent you something. Okay. Dad uses Messenger. Frank. I don't know how you would do that. It could be done. Put it on horseback. Yeah, I'm gonna send that to uh, Zoen. So just send it to D and D chat, man. I nah, want to nah. see now. I'm curious. You don't get to know. Oh. Good. Man, you don't get to know either. I already got the idea because Liam said he was dressed head in plate mail from head to toe. With fun, <laughs> it would be funny as hell to turn something like that on. Show me what you're talking about if it involves my character, goddammit. I must know. Just because you gave someone an idea doesn't mean it's over for your character. Doesn't mean that I'm allowed to if I die. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to um, Glitch as well, just to leave Liam out. But what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Disrespect. Read the bottom message there, Glitch. Hold on. Not out loud, but... I could care less. <laughs> that would be enjoyable to watch. Just let me see. We, we could mount it on horseback. Or a wagon. Well, whatever it is, until I know, I'm not letting you use my horse. Nobody tell Liam. <laughs> Fine, but you're not allowed to use my horse anymore. That's metagaming, Liam. When do I ever use your horse? I don't know. Move fast. When Mufasa. do I ever... Mufasa! <laughs> Long live the king. So... We're gonna go find some place where we can get some cold weather gear? Yeah, I looked at the prices and it should be like 35 gold pieces each for us to get climbing gear and uh, cold weather clothes. The name is just 25 for you since you don't need clothes. It's Wait, gonna be twice as much because we're in Barovia. Why do I need climbing gear? 
Right. Ah. Oh, right. This price is here. Nope, same price. Right, left to right. Oh, nice. We can just go back to Strahd's castle and like touch the orb. Climbing beer is not listed here though, but cold weather clothes are. They don't got climbing beer. It's just your. I'm not. I'm not poor. I completely forgot. That would be a climber's kit. So, yeah. How much is that pearl that I picked up? Uh, pearl that you picked up. Good question. Uh, you want to attune to it and find out what it is? Sure, we got time. Well, he's doing that, then I'm going to see if I am able to try to tune to the green glowing gem, see if it is attunable. <laughs> For all I know, it is. Hey, who's the uh, who's the best alignment here? Like, who's the goodest alignment of the uh, all? Goodest of alignment. Uh, lawful good, good, and I think that's Dad's character. That would be me. Okay, I'm gonna walk over to you since I know you the best. I'm gonna get you 20 gold and tell you, uh, and ask you to go get me a climbing kit. 25. 25, okay. I give you 25 gold and ask you to get me a climbing kit. Please. I also hand you 25 gold and tell you to go get me a climber's kit. I hand I'll... you 35. Actually, I'll I'm gonna hand you same. 40 and say, you can keep the extra 5, but I, I also need some cold weather gear. Hey, Justin. Yeah? I'm also buying a two-person tent. Okay. Go for it. And while they're doing that, I'm just going to uh, open one of these doors and then uh, go and then uh, l knock on them and uh, make spooky noises while also calling Buzz's name. <laughs> you really fucking hate my phone, you. <laughs> Buzz, your master calls you. Stop abusing Buzz. Hashtag stop Buzz abuse. <laughs> uh, also, um, since it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I also grab a wrathful oil? Wrath fire oil? A wreath fire? fire? Maybe. Wraith fire? Yeah. Sure. Wait, hold on. Joy, aren't you an undead? Uh, no, I cast if I as humanoid. Hmm, I'm gonna start throwing pebbles at, uh, Buzz. To get his attention. Leave him alone. Buzz, look over here, Buzz! I'm gonna make a prayer to the altar. Okay. <laughs> You're just praying while a big-ass skeleton is just throwing rocks at Buzz. Buzz there. Come here. Yes. Put him in perfect line. I gotta throw more rocks at him. Justin, I'm waving at Buzz. Uh, give me a second. I'm doing something. Oh. Most spooky music. Spooky, scary skeletons. Skeletons and shivers down shivers your spine. Shivers down your spine. Creeping bones will shock your soul, seal your dooms tonight. Oh, 
All right, uh, Nate, uh, the little pearl that you picked up, mm -hmm. you attune to it and find it to be a gem of God's folly. This magical gem allows for a creature attuned to it to store any concentration spell within. This grants the caster the ability to concentrate on two spells at the same time. If a player is attacked whilst concentrating on two spells, they must make a concentration spell uh, saving throw for both spells individually. If the user fails the saving throw to hold concentration on the second spell, the gem shatters. When the gem shatters, you are unattuned. <laughs> Moonbeam and uh, Spirit Guardians. So, yeah, you could have, like, for example, Spirit Guardians and Shield Moon of Faith. Beam. And you pick one of the spells. So, like, you can say Shield of Faith is being concentrated using the gem. Uh, if your concentration breaks for the Shield of Faith, the gem shatters. Okay. Don't waste it. Or waste it. It's your character. That's on you. Okay, so I'm going to go over and buy the uh, cold weather gear now. But I'm buying two sets of cold weather gear. Okay. I want uh, one set in child size. Okay. Cold weather you see where I'm going with this, right? I asked if you could get me stuff. <laughs> what did I do to you? You're not with me. Yeah, but I gave you gold asking if you could grab me some. <laughs> How much is the uh, climbing back? 25. Oh. The climber's kit is 25 gold. Thank you. I, I, hand, I said I handed Dad's character 40 and asked if they could give me climber's gear and, um, and cold weather gear and then keep the extra 5. He, like is, it. is it not apparent what I'm doing just yet, right? Said I'm getting two sets. One set, regular size for all of us that we need, and the gear, the climbing gear. And then the other set is just the child size that I'm going to give to you. Why? To see the look in your faces when I give you the child size. I just need climbing gear. I don't need uh, warm other gear. It's for the people that need it. It's coming from the lawful good character. Hey, lawful good does not mean that you can't pull a prank. Especially a harmless one. Exactly, considering I got the actual gear to go with it. Uh, I'm an elf, I could wear child's gear. What do I feel like it's just like a, a crop top, a crop top uh, parka? So Jory's an elf, how tall is he? I don't know how tall Jory's character is. I'm six feet. You're gonna look really cool in those, you know, toddler gear. Yes. Might cover a foot. So I buy the gear, how much does it cost me? Uh, well... Uh, are you buying gear for everyone? Is that what you're doing? That's what I'm doing. Okay. Well, I'm my aim, don't worry about me. I, I paid for mine already. I gave him the gold for mine. <laughs> okay, well, it would be 10 gold per person. Uh, and if you're buying two sets, that's 20 gold per person. And I'm telling the shopkeeper what I'm doing it for. Okay. Just so he has a good laugh. Sure, you, you brighten the day of one of the local shopkeeps. Nice. They don't get a lot of faith here. Uh, a lot of hope. A lot of money. A lot of anything. How does the it's economy well. function here? It does Not well. Yeah, function, like, he there's says. There's no new sources of money or anything entering the town. Except for, like, us going through. The fair comes through sometimes. And there's, like... Money that's like lost in dungeons and stuff like that, that no one wants to go and get, so. The, the economy's just falling apart slowly. Soon there'd be no money. People keep dying in like caves and shit.
Okay. Uh, you all got wither gear? Yep, and climbing kit. Okay, everybody's got everything they need. Mm hmm. Then, uh, you all gather up and prepare to head out once more. Or so, we go. that's your plan. You can head up to the mountains. There's our plan, right, guys? Yeah. Do we know which mountain we have to go to? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Would I? Good question. I did see a tower up there, so I could assume that I'd be there. There's probably a monster in there too. Is that Let's where you want to go? Tree. Might be, that might as well be. Especially, I would also have a better clue that that would be the mountain, give or take the fact that uh, Strahd's castle took me there. Nah, so man, like let's go play another tree. Somehow. So, yeah, I believe we should go to there, like, just because that seems like it would be the place that it would be either way, in my character's eyes. Hey, wait, don't we know where another Baba Yaga lives? Do we? Yeah, the, the old mill. The one making the meat pies? Oh, right. Technically. And I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who actually knows that she's a uh, Baba Yaga, because I'm the one who did uh, the thing. Okay, are we going to the mountain? Yep. Yep. Alright. I was confused why Liam was bringing that up. I don't know. So then, uh, we'll keep and be leading the way. Yep. Come on, Vabanos. What was the. You were off to see the wizard. <laughs> oh. You disappoint me, Ken. What speed is the party traveling at? Fast, uh, normal, or slow? Probably normal. Um, right, guys? Horse. Normal? Name horse is not a speed. Considering the whole party is not mounted, you would have to go with fast, normal, or slow. You can't double it up with mounting speed. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, we have four people, right? Five. Count yeah. again. Oh. I was gonna say, like, two can run, like, one of the uh, donkeys, and two can run the horse. Traveling at a normal speed, then, is it? Yep. Okay. Because we're less likely to be attacked, and it's not like we're in a rush. That's three miles an hour. Hey, uh, Justin. Yeah? Can I have a familiar? Uh. If you take the find familiar spell, go right ahead. I get it as an optional as a wizard. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you have the thing in your character sheet that you can show me it? Yeah, I'm adding it right now. I'm looking at familiar and wizard and there's nothing for it. It's literally cantrip familiar. It's level three. Oh, it's not actually called. Oh, okay.
That's cantrips. Find familiar is a spell. That's not familiar. That's formula. Oh, okay. You oh, have a you have a scry you have scribed a set of arcane formulas in your spellbook that you can use to formulate a cantrip in your mind. Whenever you finish a long rest and can and consult these formulas in your spellbook, you can replace one wizard cantrip, you know, with another cantrip from the wizard spell list. That lets you that lets you just change spell or cantrips. Yeah, I thought he was saying that I thought you thought that fine familiar was a cantrip for a second there. <laughs> I mean, if you want a familiar, just take find familiar. It's a ritual spell. All right. You don't have to prepare it. You just have to put it in your spell book. Considering you're a wizard, you've got 12 spells to go into your book. Anyway, uh, heading out. Yeah, I'm going to find me a familiar while we're riding in this carriage. We're on a carriage. Oh, I th no, we're not on the carriage thing anymore, because we gave it back to the people. Uh, roll, d20. I'll roll first. Let's roll one d20. Alright. Next roll, d20. Fifteen. Fifteen, okay. Roll d20. Who's next? Dog, roll a d20. Oh, never mind, Troy did it. Okay, two. Now they need 20, please. Level one? Okay. Yep. This is a long trip. Uh, 15, okay. That's two hours. D20 roll. Two. D20. Three. One more. Okay. Well, that's two more, but I'll take both of those. Either way, I don't think anything forms from either of them. Could be wrong, though. Just after a bit of walking. Party reaches Selenka Pass. Kind of snowy. You beat the snow. The um. shelf of rock on which the mountain road clings grows narrow. To your left, the icy cliffs rise sharply towards dark rolling clouds. To your right, the ground falls away into a sea of fog. Ahead, through the wind and snow, you see a high wall of black stone lined with spikes and topped by statues of demonic vultures with horned heads. Sat in the center of the wall is a closed iron parkalus, behind which burns a curtain of green flame. On the other side of the dark wall, Gripping the mountain's edge is a guard tower of white stone topped by golden statues of mighty warriors. Uh, as we're climbing up, I'm just going to say, everybody, okay, everybody take caution. There's a flying creature in around here that attacked me as I tried to climb down. 
then we shall kill it. Like every other monster we have encountered. Including that tree. Are you guys moving? Dad, Jory. Just one second. Uh, yeah, there's a donkey. Yeehaw. There's a gelatinous frost cube that came out of frost uh, that you can have as a, a familiar. And I want it. <laughs> what? Uh, Ryan of the Frost Maiden. You can get a gelatinous frost cube as a... As a familiar. Is that for that warlocks awesome. only, or...? I'm not sure, just give me a second, I'm trying to look up on it. Alright, yeah, cause that sounds like a Pact of the Lynx thing. No, it's a find familiar thing. Yeah, Pact of the Lynx is a fine familiar thing for them. Hey, Key, what's your character's name? Gelatinous uh, Ice. Elena. I say Elena goes first. Why? I don't know, you've been here before and I don't trust that green flame. Gee, you're sending the fuck. You're sending the, um. <laughs> you're sending the fucking warlock in. <laughs> yep. Uh, as all of you approach, uh, the portcullis screeches open with this horrible sound of metal on metal as it rises up. I can't see Jory's health, but I think I have the lowest health out of anybody. Mine's lower than you. You can't see okay. his health? Nope. Can you, enjoy the Can you see it now? Nope. Nope. Yep, there we now. go. Okay. Why is Jory on the back of the mule? I don't know. Somebody moved it there? It's not Jory's mule. Drake, I will fine. never put myself on it. I'm able to interact with this token. What? I'm not able to no, interact the, the with this token. The mule was just... I, I, I watched. The mule was just put, in, put there. Oh, okay. The mule was put there. Well... It should probably be one of the tanks who goes first. Give or take, it says in the card that it's guarded by golden knights. Fine, I'll go first. Horse. Then suddenly Liam combusts. Oh, I'm suddenly combusts. Test to see if it if we we'll die from going through. Jory, why did you send me the compendium for the regular gelatinous cube? That's what. You've sent me the gelatinous cube compendium. Trying to Just... find it. I can't find it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, apparently you guys didn't, like, listen to my description. Oh. You see how there's that green wall of flame? Yeah. Yeah, that's there. Hmm. Set in the center of the wall is a closed iron portcullis, behind which burns a curtain of green flame. Oh, I thought you said, you know, didn't the portcullis open, you said? Or did it close? The portcullis opened, yeah. To still the fire. Ah. Oh. Let's see. Someone's gonna have to anything? put that out. Does anybody have any water? A large amount of it? We have snow. A large <laughs> amount of it? snow onto it. <laughs> Just make snowballs, man. For the snow. snow. I would like to throw a handful of snow at the fire. Okay, you throw a handful of snow at the green fire. Does the snow melt? Uh, the snow melts, yes. Okay. So it does let off heat. So you just climb around it. The wall ends right here. I have a feeling we'll be attacked if we do that. Yeah, um, Probably will. Will. 
That's probably Is there any levers easy. or anything on the walls? Uh, there are no visible levers. Hmm. Does it look like the fire is coming from anywhere? Or is it just uh, It's just coming up from the ground. Hmm. Do you guys want me to fly over the wall to see if like, it's an off switch on the other end? Uh, should we just like, I don't know, just walk over the wall? And or climb over the wall? The edge, the edge of the cliff? I have a horse. What, does that make you fly? Yes. Because Liam, <laughs> that's a fall. How, how tall are the walls, though? The walls are... The adjoining walls are 20 feet high and lined with spikes. The gatehouse is 30 feet tall uh, and has two statues on the top. Okay. Um, can I attempt to add acrobatics over the uh, spikes and wall? Jump over. Uh... What's your jump height? Not very high, but I meant to like use the wall and the uh, cliff to climb up. You want to scale it? We yeah. have climbing gear. Yeah, but I'm also not. Be quicker. I mean, if you want quickness, I can fly. Didn't ask. Fine, King, go fly over the wall. Yeah, can I do that, Zoran, or? I hope try this first. Uh, like over, so what are you over, trying to do? Like in over in this corner, using the wall and the uh, cliff to basically climb up and you jump over. You want to use the wall and the sheer cliff drop? Yeah. Because that side's a full drop. Oh wait, is that going down? I thought one side yes, was going Yes, that's up. going down. Do you oh. not see these tiny trees over here on the sides? Oh, sorry, that's my mistake. I meant the other side. Okay. Uh, like climb up the tree and jump over or something like that. I mean, I mean, if any of you have a climber's kit, we, I do. you can climb up the side of the mountain. Yeah, but acrobatics is more fun to you. <laughs> can I just pick up a rock and throw it through the, through the flames? You could try, go for it. Uh... Whilst climbing or swimming, each foot of movement costs one extra. Unless you have climbing or swimming, or unless you have a climbing speed, so uh, you would need. Yeah, I guess dog with your. Forty-five. You have forty feet. Yeah. Forty-five. Okay. Yeah, you can climb over it yourself without any. Cool. I'm gonna do journey. that. All right. Uh, purple climbs up and over. Wherever he's climbing it. Uh, I assume okay. I, I assume that Purple just like finds a good spot, and you know, have you ever done that thing where you're in like a little hall, and you put your feet up against the wall on one side and your back yeah. against the other, and you just yeah. kind of your way up? Yeah, he basically does that. Yeah, I'm gonna yell over to Purple. Purple, is there an off switch or anything over there? Is there one? Not that you can see. I'm, I'm gonna walk off over to uh, this watch tower and open the door. Did anything happen when I threw the rock through the flames? Uh, you threw the rock f uh, through the flames? Uh, no, it was a rock. Just, it went through. Anybody want to try walking through it? See what a happens? cold hearth stands across from the door, the wind howling down its chimney. A stone staircase is on the south wall. Three windows look out over a foggy sea. Can I look around? Investigation? Sure. Uh, is this flat up here? Or is it like or something up here? Okay, I'm gonna do There's something- There's statues up there. I'm gonna do uh, something really stupid here for a second. Go ahead. Alright, so I'm going to take a rope, I'm going to tie it around me, I'm going to give them the other end, and I'm going to walk 
See if I can walk through the curtain of fire. You see those circles? Yeah. Yeah, those are the statues. Okay. Then, if you guys want to, I can most likely fly up there and like tie a rope around the statues to be able to climb up it. One second, before you go. I do I find anything, so? Does a rope up first? Uh. A quick search of the room uh, finds nothing of particular value aside from like uh, old firewood, uh, like you find like a pair of old boots. It, this appears to have been a place that was lived in once, but has long since been abandoned. Uh. So Keegan. what were you doing, Nate? I think you were planning on something. Keegan, do you have to spell magic? Alright, who's on the ground beside me? Uh, Currently me, and you're on me. Well, I'm going to tie a rope to, around myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give them one of the ropes, and I'm going to attempt to see if I can walk through the fire without getting hurt. And if okay. I start yelling, I'm going to get them to yank me back. Okay. I know. I said it sounds stupid, but it is stupid. Try not necessarily. I, I guess I have the rope. Okay. You yeah, on the, the back of the horse that has the rope. So, uh, so yeah. if something goes wrong, you just smack your horse and run. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my climbing uh, gear to climb over. Okay. Uh, that'll take you a while to do it, but yeah. Uh... So, uh, whilst Jory is over, not, not right away, Jory, because I, I just said it'll take you a while. Oh, okay. So, go for it, Nate. Try for it. All right. Uh, well, you, you enter the cloak there. And uh, as you have entered the uh, curtain for the first time, you take 6d10 fire damage. <laughs> Horse go burr. It's gonna move over here, the horse. You get burned oh. for 31 damage. Half and then health. you get through it without a problem. Keegan, I mean, Justin, why am I getting flashbacks of your character trying to walk through the hedge? I just realized, he just walked through fire. The rope probably just got burnt up. <laughs> yep. Well, I got more rope now, so I'm keeping that rope. Um, okay, now... It's just me and Liam over here, and, um... Well, actually, it's gonna be just you, because I have a better idea. Uh, how high is this over here? Over there? Uh... Yeah. I'd say that cliff is probably about 30 up. 30 up? Uh, is there any lower parts to the cliff? Like, uh, parts where it, like, goes lower down? Uh, the lowest the cliff goes is... around the wall there. Mind you, uh, that cl that part of the cliff is higher than the wall itself. How tall is this horse again? Uh, horse. Not that tall. Stands on its head. <laughs> that, was, that was what I was going to do. It uh, falls yo. off. Just you know, I technically could get both of you over there by uh, turning into an eagle and just flying us over. I'd say the horse is probably about five feet up, with, I would say. It's around the average horse. height of a horse. But it's a war horse, so war horses are usually pretty fucking big. It's also, you know, not a full horse. It's a skeleton, remember? Okay, I'm, gonna, like, uh, I'm just going to stand on its back. I'm going to uh, jump. Over here. Okay, hey. what's your uh, what's your strength? My strength is uh, 16. 3. 3? Okay. Uh, and your current height is like 8 feet or something ridiculously tall. You're like a really uh, tall I guy. Uh, I think it's 7. Yeah, 7 okay. too. Okay, you're... You are 7 feet. Uh, the horse is 5 feet. And your high jump 
is six. You can get with a high jump. Uh, oh, never mind. Uh, when you make a high jump, you leap into the air. Number of feet equal to three plus your strength mod if you move at least 10 feet on foot first. Uh, from what you're trying to do, you'd be making a standing high jump. So you would be making, so you'd only be able to jump three feet instead of the six. So uh, you can't jump up and grab the edge. You're not, not high up enough to do that. Got it. So I can communicate. I've uh, searched through um, the horse thing. I can communicate with the horse, right? Sure. Through uh, mental uh, links and shit like that, and it can understand me? Yeah. Could yeah, I somehow get the legs. horse to uh, stand on its back legs while also holding onto the wall? I, mean, I, think, it of hands, I, I think, think you're overestimating the strength of a horse's hind legs, I, considering you're in full plate. I just Damn. Mentioned okay. the fact Le that it has Liam, the what's your strength again? Uh, 16. 16 plus 3, he can always jump the height of the wall, no? No. Oh, is it half? It, no, he has a plus 3 in strength. What was the... That's what, that's, it that's what it's counting. Oh, sorry, I'm being stupid. Yeah, no. High jump is your strength modifier. Oh, okay, my You're bad. You're thinking long jump, which is the score. Yeah. Upon seeing him struggle for this long, I'm just gonna fly up and tie a rope to the statue. Okay, you fly up and uh, go to tie a rope around the statue. I have a feeling this isn't going to go. Oh, it's a fucking gargoyle, isn't it? No, it's a lot worse as the statues cease to be petrified and come to life. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to need initiative rolls. I'm not sure I want to deal with this. God damn it, Keegan. What, you think I expected it? Did you expect it to come to life? I mean, considering, yeah. yeah. And, uh, give me a moment here as I turn on Volatile Reaction, because, uh... Why did, why do you think... You trigger the rocks. Oh, god damn it! Oh. Let me go flee, please. I'll tell you what, dog. Go for it. Go. Run from flying. me. They have a flying speed faster than you. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Jory? They don't know you're there, though. You're in a building. Hell, you don't even know they're there. No, I, don't. I just remember the threat that Zoe uh, made to me the other day. <laughs> what threat? Uh, basically, he runs, me if I'll I chase run. him down. <laughs> 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 Jory? Did Jory leave? Yeah, he, 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 no, he's know he muted and deafened. Getting yelled at by, uh... Alright, I'll roll roll for him. His wife and his child. A female. The female species. The one who stole his balls. <laughs> he stole his balls! Alright, uh, dog. You are currently unaware of the uh, the rocks coming to life. I have passed time. Hmm? Okay. I, I've got nothing I want to do. I, I passed time. Okay. Elena. Uh, she's going to uh, yell, Ah, oh, shit! These fuckers again! <laughs> and uh, oh, These are not the things that attacked you. Those were That was a rock. There's a... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you were attacked by a rock. This is a vrock. Oh, I thought I got attacked by a rock. Okay. No, you got attacked by a rock, like the really big bird. Uh, Thunderbird. Okay, bird. Okay then. Uh, let's see. I am going to. Actually, it's right next to me. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to. Where the fuck is it? I know I have a thing for this. Am I just? Oh yeah, well, thirsting blade for one. So yeah, I'm gonna stab it with my lo my lost sword. Miss. Miss. 
Yep. And, uh, yep, and I'm going to move away. I can move away if I attack it. Okay, yep. Wait, do I have any less movement right now? Or is it full movement right now? I'm sorry, I'm back. Uh, are you flying? Or, yeah. uh, I don't know, what's your movement? Uh, 30 feet flight. Go for it, move. Okay, I was asking because, you know, if I didn't know if it counted for me moving before. Okay. And that will be the end of my turn. Thank you, whoever rolled my initiative. Got it. It's your turn, Jory. Alright. What's uh, going on? What did I you are like You're like royally screwed. <laughs> Keegan went through with his idea of trying to tie a rope around one of the statues. Uh, they're now come to life, and they're going to attack the party. Uh, the statues are currently up on top of the gatehouse. But you are how far? Up. How far up am I? Are you? Yeah. Uh, like, have I started climbing? No, not yet. All right, then. Keegan, why do you keep doing stupid shit? What, you expect me to know the statue would come to life? I did. <laughs> we're, we're in Barovia. Everything's alive. This tree's not alive if he, they start attacking me. <laughs> well, any, uh, any ideas there, Magic Man? I like your funny words, oh, magic, magic man. man. Yeah, just give me one second. My character sheet's lagging out. Uh, I'm gonna cast. Uh, in my, in uh, my hand, I'm gonna cast. As my bonus action, Shadow Blade. But okay. instead, I'm going to use Radiant as the damage instead of uh, Force. Okay. You've got a I spell secret? Like yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, you've got a Shadow Blade. And I'm going to toss it at it. Oh. Right. Uh, 11 would be a miss. Okay. Actually, yeah, you'd be rolling a disadvantage anyways because they're 30 feet. Okay. The guardhouse is up 30. Oh, and also, just so you know, as my character is running away from me, just screaming fucking every single language she knows. And the Shadow Blade just reappears in my hand again. Yep. Uh, that's a concentration spell, so I'll put that on. And that's my bonus action. Yes. So, uh, I'll hold my attack action. Or if the enemy gets close. Don't want to just throw a cantrip at them? Oh yeah, you're right, I can. Alright. I, I keep forgetting you can throw cantrips after- as, Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna throw that at it. Which one? Uh, the one in front of me. Hit. That, uh, 40. Uh, 4 damage. Okay. Uh, actually, two damage, not four. My character's just screaming fuck in every single one of their languages. Alright. The rocks. Uh, well, this one up here. Uh, are you still flying up 30 feet? Yeah, I am. Okay, this rock flies over to you. Uh, it's going to make a multi-attack. I think Frox can speak, right? Good question. You don't know that. Uh, this rock is going to attack Elena at disadvantage because of Jory, of all things. Oh, Radiant? Or no. because they were in light? It's because he has the icon. Ah. Yeah. That provides uh, protection from evil and good for undead and fiends. Which these Thanks. definitely are. Okay, uh, yeah. two attacks. One with its beak. One with its talons. Both are misses. Both are misses. The other Vrock uh, is going to 
uh, by the way, Keegan, put a red dot with a three on you to signify that you're up 30. Okay. Okay. The other Vrock flies down to the ground here. Fight me, I dare you. Looking right into the rock's eyes. The I'll rock. the shit of the statue. It's going Fine. to uh, actually land here. And it's gonna... It's going to use its one a day. I need... Yeah, Jory? And uh, Liam, mm -hmm. I need you two to make constitution saving throws as the rock screams. Hey, Jory, did you put on the uh, plus three to the save? Oh, I forgot about that. So I passed, don't I? You passed, Jory. Yeah. Uh, Liam, you fail and are stunned until the end of the rock's next turn. Oh, wait, hold on. I also got a roll for the horse. Sure. The horse will attack in this Oh, time. yeah. Nate, you want to roll for your donkey? Give him Do a constitution save? Yeah, one sec. Do uh... I need to roll? No, you're 30 feet up, remember? Right. Okay, it's on the ground. How would you roll for a creature like this? It has a character sheet. I know it does, but it doesn't have a uh, you saving. Have constitution. You would hit the constitution. If it doesn't have a save, it's specifically that All right. constitution. The horse is also stunned, even with the plus three. Damn, why did the uh, horse and me have the same stats? Stunned. Okay. Burbeard, you are stunned. Indeed, I am. Uh, that stun I'm condition. stunned, Varox. I'm starting at the uh, Varrock's wonderful singing voice. Uh, you are incapacitated, can't move, and can speak only falteringly. Uh, you automatically fail strength and deck saves, uh, and attacks against you have advantage. And because you're incapacitated, uh, you cannot take actions or reactions. Corsania, your turn. Can I see them through the fire? Yes. Uh, what was that? Turn undead. Uh, these are not undead. God damn it. They're fiends. Uh, you would know they're not undead, so you can avoid doing that. So feel free to do something else. Yeah, give me a second. I'm thinking. Wait, who's stunned? Liam. It's a me. And my horse. He's stunned till next turn. Alright. Shield of Faith on Liam. Okay. Nice. Uh, Liam, AC. you have a plus two to your AC. 22? Sorry, guys, I'm not running through that fire again. That hurt. I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, purple boyish. Uh, dog, you would have definitely heard the, uh, the shriek from the rock. Okay. What have I done? Just gonna run over? Yeah. Okay. 
Elena. Okay. So I can I tell that these are fiends? Yes. Uh, she's going to attempt to speak to them in Abyssal. Sure. Please, just let us be. I did not know you were alive. Uh, okay. I seem to understand her. You'll find that out when the turn comes around. Okay, uh, just in case, I'm going to use my action to um, hold an attack just in case they don't. Okay. Lena. Give me one second. I'm j I have to look over my spells now before I cast them because I can change things. Hmm. You can change cantrips. No, I can completely change the spell. Oh, you mean from, he's got um, yeah, he's got spell yeah. secrets, so he yeah. can modify the uh, the damage type. Yeah, yeah, I forgot what he was. Damage type and the saves that they take. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna toss another one of my shadow blades. Out. Go for it. Uh, which one are you chucking it at? The one that's on the ground. Okay. Uh, that hits. And that's then radiant damage. Okay. Yeah. It takes and the full damage. I'm going to hit it with that. <laughs> uh, you shoot a firebolt at it. Uh, 15 hits for 4 damage. Anything else? That's all I can do. Okay, the rocks. Uh, the one on the ground is gonna flap his way over here. So he's next to the two of you like that. Uh, Keegan. Yeah? You hear this horrible like whispery multiple different voices all saying it at once in the back of your mind. God, they have telepathy. You that's, that's... are not one of this land. And so we will feed upon you. And then it'll attack you. Uh, okay. at... It is going... Actually, it's not going to attack you. The one right in your face? Screams. Wait, isn't Lena a Vistani? Yeah, I am a Vistani. She is one of this land. Roll a constitution save. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it doesn't count. And do I get the plus three from his thing? No, I'm right no, out of it. No, you're not Wait, even no, in you it. Don't. You're out of it. So, yeah, uh, so yeah, you right. fail, you are stunned and incapacitated. Okay, I still have a hovering speed. I'm not sure if that would disable me. Do you have hover or fly? I, I There's the ability. It says you it says you can hover. Hmm? Click it. Uh... In addition, you have bonus action. 10 minutes during which you can hover. Okay, just checking. Because hover and flight are two different things. Yeah, one because uh, all right. Yeah, you don't fall then, but you are stunned until the end of this rock's next turn. Yeah. Um. Do I wait? Did I get to use my um reaction that I get I saved? Hmm. Did I get to use my reaction? Sure. Use it before you. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Green flame blade. Just so I can get that extra damage onto it. Yeah. And would um would I, yes. would I be able to use um Eldritch versatility still? No Eldritch no. Versatility. Sorry, um Thirsting Blade? Uh no, not with that. Okay. Uh and the thirteen is a miss. Uh and now you are stunned. Yeah. So put a stun on you. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh... Okay, uh the other Brock. Uh Uses its, uh, uses its recharge ability. 
spores. Jory and Liam make constitution saving throws. Uh, Jory, you pass. Jory, you pass with a 15. Uh, Liam, you fail. Liam's horse succeeds. <laughs> Aha! The horse succeeds. Uh... Liam, you take 1d10 poison damage. Isn't he on dead? Actually, hold on. Liam, do you yeah. have immunity to poisons? Let me check. Because you're a paladin. I don't know if you have poison have immunity, immunity or if it's disease. They have disease. It's disease. That's for paladins, disease. I okay. I did poisons too. No, it's illnesses and diseases that it does. Divine right. health. Let's see here. Magic through you. Makes you immune to disease. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. Yeah. Okay, uh, you are poisoned then. Do I just take three? Hmm? Take three damage? You rolled three. Yeah. <laughs> there. Alright. Yeah, there's so many things happening. Uh, your stun is no off, so it's your turn. Yeah, Weird. never mind. I'm just gonna move over here, hit him twice with my uh, cracked maul. Uh, 15 hit. And get my horse to hooves. That also hit. Damn, this horse has some moves. <clears throat> Like Jagger. Both of, uh, both of those do half damage. Okay. Just let you know. Uh, and you can make the saving throw at the end of your turn. Uh, saving throw for what again? Your oh, yeah, saving throw for that. Okay. Uh, Constitution. Damn it! Fail. <laughs> why are my Why are these so low? Why is it always low? All right, Nate. Okay, quick question. Where, where Jory is, if I cast, um... Guardians of Faith just in front of him? Will it protect him? Uh, Guardian of Faith will, uh... It will attack anything that's uh, deemed hostile to me. These are definitely hostile to me. A large spectral guardian appears and hovers for the duration in an unoccupied space of your choice that you can see within range. The guardian occupies that space and is indistinct except for the gleaming sword and shield. Any creature hostile to you that moves to a space within 10 feet of it for the first time must succeed on a dex save. Taking a rate of 20... Yeah, you can do that. As long as you can see where you're putting it, you can put it wherever. And uh, it won't target your allies. It'll only target creatures that you deem hostile. All right, is there a free spot in front of Jory's character? Well, there's uh, this square right next to next to them. It's a large thing, so. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Put the big Grisania there. Basically, the hope is, Jory, if anything comes near you, it will attack. <laughs> Okay, there. Well, you put it there, uh, and the uh, the rock technically is now in its space, so it must make a dex dex save. Should not have been rolling at disadvantage, but fifteen's a fail. So the rock takes twenty radiant. Purple. I'm gonna move over and climb back up on top of the wall. Okay. You That's are on top of the wall. Elena. Uh, you are really stunned. Think... Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think I can do anything. Lena. No, 
Um, also, I should. Jory. I'm, I know. I'm just looking. Yeah. Uh... All right. Uh, I think I'm going to hit it with a... That's a miss, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, that's my turn, folks. Okay. Uh, Vrox. Keegan. This one gets to attack you normally because you're incapacitated. And stunned. Instead of a disadvantage because of Jory. Okay, uh, Beak. Miss. Talons. Hit. Hit, yeah, for 13 slashing. And then you're not stunned anymore as its turn ends. Okay. Other one does not recharge, so it's just going to attack Lena at disadvantage. Hit once, Jory, you take seven slashing. Yep. Uh, make a con save for your uh, shadow sword. Okay. Pass. Burbeard. Okay. Um, first. Your turn starts. Oh, yeah, you take nine yeah. poison damage. No, yep. do your stuff. Yep. Just gonna crack them all. I'm going to divine smite the last one. Go for it. With a second level smite. Okay. Uh, you divine smite. And my horse is uh, going to. Do you hold on? Do you have a thing? Or I'll just look it up. I'm gonna check if divine a... smite does the bonus damage against fiends as well as undead. I can just post it in chat. I have the spell. Oh, go for it. Okay. Divine Smite, there it is. And chat. That's totally useful. That's the wrong one, man. <laughs> nice. It's the wrong one? <laughs> Epic no moment. <laughs> oh, Divine <laughs> Smite. Uh... The damage increases against undead and fiends. Okay. So it takes the extra damage. And hooves. And hooves, okay. <laughs> hooves fit for six. Crescenia. Do you have heal do you have holy water by chance? Probably. You can pour some on him to cure his poison. You realize that I'm Behind on the other fire. side of the What? Aren't you the giant? Oh right. Uh end of your turn, so make your saving throw. That's not him, Keegan. Oh Liam. sorry. Okay, hold on a second. Come on. Yes! You're good. You're no longer poisoned. Woohoo! You no longer have a bunch of horrible spores eating their way through you. Ah, screw you, you fucking... That's kinda uh, hot, though. Gargoyle. Eating through what? He has no flesh, he's just bone. Bone decomposes. Bone. It's eating my bones. Bone marrow. He's eating the bone marrow. <laughs> I eat bone marrow. Which one are you shooting at? One by Dory. Uh, you don't have line of sight. Oh, what about this one? Yeah, you can see that one. That one. Okay, hit it for 19. 
and it uh, first attack against it will have advantage. Purple. Yes, sir. It's your turn. I'm going to climb the rest of the way onto the top, which is you said thirty feet total, so it's another ten feet. Yeah, that'll be uh yeah. So twenty feet to climb up. Okay. It takes double. I can get anywhere I want up here. I'm, I'm going to move over to this side. Now I'm going to use one of my uh, charges on my uh, pipes of haunting. Okay, go for it. Um, when I added it in, it didn't like come up as a spell, so I have no idea how like, uh, how I can post it. Add it as a weapon. Uh, and then set a saving throw DC of 14 and just the description. Don't put damage or attacks in it. Just Saving throw is 14. Yes. Uh, wisdom. Okay. What? Even if, you, if you get too fucked up, I can heal you from a range, so... Yep. I have a plan. They never work plan. out a plan with the party, so they can... My plan is to lure it over here, and then chop its wing off. So, it, so it's Wait, falling. Really? Interesting choice. Let gravity do the hard lifting. <laughs> you go down with it, Gandalf style. <laughs> fucking just fucking put it into a full Nelson and drop. <laughs> you don't go down with anything. Yeah, I mean, we do have a fire curtain, so you could say, you shall not pass. <laughs> Let's see if this works. There you go. That works fine. Okay. Uh, they must make wisdom saves. Uh, at advantage, due to magic resistance. Still failed one. Okay. It's you done purple? Me. Yep. Elena. Okay. Uh, oh, increase by... the DC, by the way, dog. I was wrong. It's 15, not 14. Okay. Uh... Just because I need to, um, I kind of need to back away from it. I'm going to hit it anyway. So, are you? Uh, oh, just a second. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I was checking to see if the frighten effect ends if you attack them, but it does not. All right. Um, so she is going to, uh, stow her sword, and she's going to cast, um, she's going to cast Shadow Blade. Okay. So two Shadow Blades. And mm. with Shadow Blade, I'm going to use my, my action, because that's a bonus action to cast, to, yep. uh, to stab it with, um, Green Flame Blade on it. Okay. Last Hit. And the other attack from Thirsting Blade. Hit. And she is going to move out to here. So off the cliff. Yes, I'm flying. That's what the circle oh, on okay, the three yeah. is. 30 feet. When it follows me over, I'm going to chop its wing off when it starts falling. And uh. I will end my turn. Shadow Blade, what's its properties? Can you post the uh, spell for me? It's up there. I already posted it. Here, I'll, I'll grab it again. I'm about to use it again, so. Uh, it's this button. Or this. Uh, it deals. Uh, oh, 2d8 it on a hit. It is finesse, and it is light, and it is thrown. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Also, is it dark? Air goodies, magic items, lost sword. Oh, 
Lost Sword is a... Hey, guess what you can do? Hmm. You can dual wield. Oh! A lost Sword is a short sword, and that has finesse light. You can dual wield them. Okay, I'll keep the Lost Sword in my other hand, then. Lena! <laughs> um... One second. Uh, can I use my bonus action to create another Shadow Blade? Uh, no, because it requires concentration. You can't concentrate okay. on your... You don't have the God's Folly gem, so you can't concentrate on two spells at once. That'd be cool. You technically two could Shadow with Blade. the God's Folly gem. That would be how they say... And just right. get like a short sword or something in the future. Yeah. I'm gonna smuck him in the head. Go I mean, I'm it. using a sword made of shadows and a sword made of that's permitting a literal shit ton of light. Um, Keegan, I'm using a sword that's literally made out of light. Yeah, he's his, his shadow blade is not shadow. Yeah, it's not radiant. shadow. It's radiant. I, know. I see radiance in the chat. I mean, remember you uh, use it. Um, action. Can you post spell secrets real quick, Jory? I think you should have it in your turn. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, spell secrets doesn't affect psychic, but it doesn't matter because they're not taking any reduced damage from psychic, they're taking full. Just so you're aware of it, Jory. What? You can't use it on that. On Shadow uh, Shadowblade Blade does psychic damage. Uh, you can do it with acid, cold, fire, force, lightning, necrotic, or thunder. Or radiant. You can't substitute uh, psychic, it's the only one. Can we just say we can? Because that makes no sense. I mean, it kind of does. Psychic is not elemental. Okay. It. The reason for that is that uh, for things like a newer one unless you use psychic but this one yeah I, th I, th I don't know oh. anyway uh the rocks uh, the frightened one right. cannot move any closer to purple boyish it can however fly over to here <laughs> to do uh it's going it's gonna It's gonna, it's gonna shake its, it's gonna shake its money maker. Spores. And oh. it does nothing to me. I'm immune to poison and the poison condition. Oh, it's cool. Spores. Okay. Yonty bitches. <laughs> you wait to. Let me. All right. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting for him to do it on me. <laughs> You've been debated. And uh, the other rock, who is currently surrounded. Uh, Okay, it's going to attack Jory again. And both attacks miss. Burbeard. Finish it off. Hey, doesn't my spirit, my uh, guardian... It only does what? that once. Per target. Come on, hooves, yes! Do sure about that? You know, Liam, you really should have. You should really, uh, at some point, change your uh, fighting style to mounted combatant. I will never. That's style, that's... No, fighting style. That's beaten in mind. Uh, that's well, only good outside. That? You say it's only good outside? <laughs> Imagine taking your horse inside a building. Well, you could just. I, uh, Liam tried to do that. So Hooves does six damage. Doesn't kill him. Is he uh, and there's a quote there for you, Nate. Uh, it is bloodied. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Nate, your turn. Yeah, I'm just confused because on. I put that. 
can do up to 60 radiant or 60 damage for it disappears but once yeah. a turn well it a, a creature has to move to oh, it first good point, good point i understand Can I see any of them? Uh, from there, no. But if you move over a bit, you could. Like if you move over to your left, you can see the one by Keegan. Yeah, you can see it there. Aim for its wing if you can. Can you target the wing with a guiding bolt? Uh, don't really have a great aim from where you are, so you just go for the body itself. Hit. 11 radiant. That's really uh, all I can do for this. To... Yep. First attack against it has advantage. Keep that in mind there. Yep. You can... Purple. Okay, Papa is gonna jump down. And proceed to do the whacking. Well, hello there. Looks like you finally joined in in all of the fun. <laughs> One attack hits. Fuck off. Yeah, I'm happy now. We have two people fighting this one. Uh, the first quarterstaff hit kills it. 22. Ooh. And, uh... It had three that, hit points left. Since I didn't actually... That one's off the cliff. I didn't care. We're floating above a cliff. I'm running it's also over. 30 feet up in the air. I'm running over. Okay, you run over. They're just trying to cheer me on while I chop his wings off. No, he just jumps up into the air like a JoJo character. <laughs> Elena! Yeah. Okay. If it was worked um, out by advantage. dexterity rather than strength, I would probably be able to do that. Green flame blade, and it's going. They're going to try to chop the wing off. And shadow blade. And there's. I'm going to turn off advantage now because it's the. And um, he's trying to continue to chop off the wing. Another what? shadow blade. Fuck. Language. <laughs> Shut up, Liam. Shut up. Uh, well, uh, what is it, Captain America? What did I do to you? Uh, you hit with the first shadow blade. Uh, Bring it low. Um, you you don't fuck. cut its wing off. Don't really hit uh, hard enough. And hard if enough. you had landed a crit, I would have said, yeah, you definitely cleave its wing off. But you know. I, I think you should oh. fly down a bit low. Yeah, How's its wing looking? And yeah, um, how yeah, how sturdy does the wing look now, though? Uh, about as sturdy as the rest of it. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna fly down a bit so he's able to hit it as well. Okay. How far? Uh, well, it has to be within five feet of him, so I guess I'm just gonna fly down so it's with on ground level. Unless you want Not to force me to your key level. point. You could move there, Keegan, so we could all hit it. Yeah, actually, yeah, I can now, because I know that I can't chop the swing off without a crit. And I will end my turn. Yeah. yeah I'm going to land, by the way. Oh, wait, it can't actually fly down. <laughs> it just Oh, yeah, to me. it can't, because it can't move 30 feet closer to you. Lena. However, it could just move there. Fuck! Uh, that's a that's thirty feet anyway. Oh, you're very much not in range. That doesn't use my spell slot, does it? 
uh, considering you didn't cast anything new. Okay, so I still have my action. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna throw my shadow blade at it then. Uh, that's twenty feet, unless you're throwing at disadvantage. Okay, hit. Who, need, who needs disadvantage? Uh, nine damage. The Vrock. Uh, it cannot move any closer. <laughs> okay. I was an intended uh, side effect, I forgot about it's that. It's going to just... It's a magical effect, so... Okay. Uh, Frightened is over. Mm-hmm. Burbeard. Come over here. I don't think you can reach. You cannot reach. He's up 30 feet. Okay. And I'll do something else. Hmm, what shall I do? Ah, Sacred Flame. Oh, I should write. Okay. I'm still oh, thinking flying, sacred flame. I'm hovering. Uh, that's a deck save at advantage. Passed. Ah. Uh... Cassania. Oh. I really needed to come back over for that. Miss. Never mind. It was a shot in the dark. I don't think you've ever had a good roll uh, on your damage for that crossbow. Never. But... Worth a shot, right? Dog. Apple proceeds to do buckle unspeakable things to. Orphans, typically. If only you had, like, a thrown weapon or something. Or a short bow. Nah. Like the darts you start off with as a, as a monk. Cowards. Nah, I, I uh, chose not to go with the dart. Oh. So, purple just kind of stands around? Yeah, he just vibes. Yeah. He, okay, just Elena. It punches in the air. Okay. Uh, she is going to Eldritch Blast it. Go for it. Oh wait, at 5th level, don't I launch multiple? Yep. Okay, then launch a second. Uh, yeah, two of them. Both hit, dead. Oh, the second one blasts right through its head. And she's going to say in Abyssal, Fuck you. <laughs> God damn. Uh, I'm gonna reply also in Abyssal. That's rude. I'm going to reply. I'm gonna reply in Goblin. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys talking about? One of the few I'm gonna languages. reply in Goblin as well. Don't worry about it. I want to drink a toast. What is this with languages? Why do I know Goblin? Here's my languages. You know Goblin because you're a, you were a bugbear. You know? I know two languages. A I'm Goblinoid. I think I can speak more language than you, Liam. Uh, not Liam, Silver. And I take great pride in that. Oh, five. We both speak five. Is it five? Yep, five each. Oh, wait, it's because I've rewrite on there as well. Why yeah. do you have Vistani and Barovian in your languages? Me? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't think those are languages. They're not. Doesn't Vistani have their own language? I'm pretty no, sure they don't. I'm pretty sure they did they when did. I was writing it. Uh, I don't think so, no. 
I know, there's, there's a reason for it. It's never come up, so uh, there's not much point in actually talking about it, but... <laughs> now, do either of you got Have the ancient language goblin or abyssal because we're just sitting here talking in those two languages? I swear to god that like any what like extra language like? other than common has never come up in any of these campaigns. I feel like, I feel like goblins sound Swedish. Uh, oh on, on that note, I'm gonna sprint back over to the wall and jump back over. <laughs> okay. So what time of day is it? Uh, it's around, you've been traveling for three hours, so it's around three hours o'clock. Eleven o'clock, um, I'd say. To be sure, there's no more statues or anything up there, right? Correct, there's no more statues up there. Okay, then now I'm going to fly over there, and I'm going to dig a pike into the ground using my traveler's kit and tie her up to that and chuck that down. Why not and just I, use a spike like on the lower horse? One. I would like to get off my horse and start climbing the rope. Okay. So, uh, you hammer a python in and start climbing. I genuinely don't understand what you climbing. didn't do on the lower one. Simple, this seems a lot more sturdy than that. You mean more sturdy than the iron pikes that already exist inside it? Yeah. Right. I meant the bricks on the outside, because it's not like I'm digging it into this, the fucking metal. <laughs> no, I, I meant- I think what Dog is asking is, why are you tying, or why are you putting a python up there when the tops of the lower walls had spikes. That is exactly what I'm asking. <laughs> Are we gonna leave the donkey over uh -huh. here? Most likely, we can't bring it over. Unless you want to tie <laughs> the thing to it. Do you want the donkey to try and run through the fire and die instantly? I would, I would love it to do that. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's carrying the, it's carrying the cold weather gear, guys. No, we're I wearing have, a cold weather I gear. have my own cold weather Your gear. horse dies, Liam. I, I was joking, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna summon back- I'm just gonna, like, go over and summon it. Wait, if it Again. dies, what happens over to the here. horse? Uh, to the donkey, uh, just dies. I mean, Liam's come back. one. The steed is a fine steed, so it'll come back on its own. Yeah, Liam. You can summon it. Again. Get it to run through. So... Well, someone would... tie the donkey to, uh... Anyway, a uh... Won't go anywhere. Well, Liam, you're up here now. 30 feet up. What do you do? You have a rope still. You have the burnt one. Yeah, I have a burnt rope. I'm gonna tie it off to a pike or something and I'm gonna jump down. Okay. Also, I, I looted that thing. Did it have anything? Nope. Okay. It reminds me of my swashbuckling days. So, uh, yeah, okay. And you, you, I mean, you gonna... just have ropes. Uh, Jory has a climber's kit. You get over without any problems. I'm gonna... Summon my steed again. Okay, you summon steed, and it's the other side. We should likely take a break in that building. Yes, it'd be a good idea to get some spells, spells, and health back, especially you. Hey, time. Justin, give me a tent. I didn't. I didn't even take damage. <laughs> Why are you setting up a tent in here? Why not? Anyone no fire? I'll share Does a anybody tent with over here? Uh, I, I take some of the broken wood. I'm putting the tent inside the building. Um, I clear a spot off for it. I put some uh, wood into the chimney and I cast Firebolt on. Like Gandil. Okay. I mean, like 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 Hagrid did to the uh, to the fire. You mean in the first harp? Yeah. Right at the beginning. Okay, That's not set up tent inside. You know, this is much more comfortable than the last time I was up here. Shut up. Uh, can I rummage through these, like, this, this, war, this drobe that, that uh, there's a thing here. Can I look at it? Uh, dog already searched the area. Uh, there's nothing of interest in here. Oh, okay. Does anybody want to sleep in my tent tonight? Yes. Alright. It's not even that late. It's 11 yeah, o'clock in the morning. Is it yeah, really we, uh, okay, we we just, I just used a whole bunch of uh, spell slots. Yeah, I you? used up all my spell slots pretty much. It's okay, a good yeah, time to do I'm going to sleep in the cold with my horse. So How did you guys use up so really all your spell cold. slots? I literally used a single key point that entire fight. <laughs> because we're used... spellcasters, and we were fighting something with a lot of shit. I used one Sure, you cast like... Like three spells. 
You had Shadow Blade up, and then you cast, like, I... Witch Bolt twice. I cast uh, two spells, one from each slot. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan you realize that you do still have your third and fourth level slots, right? I Those know. are still available for, for you yeah. to cast. You have plenty of slots. All right. Why don't we take a short rest? That gives us some hit points back, right? Does it, does it not? Yes. You can roll hit die. Just to take a short rest. I and then we'll try to track a little bit further. And Do you guys, uh, anybody else wants to... And if anybody who's not, like, needing to rest wants to search the rest of this tower that you're in, go right ahead. I'm going to rest with my horse. Does it have my an upstairs? Resting. It does. Ooh. I'll go uh, with him. I have one spell slot, but... Wait, Keegan? Keegan, come here. You might as well let me do that, since I'm, I'm the right one here. who basically didn't do anything. Actually, yeah, let's send, let's send uh, Purple. He's the one who's at the most health, and he, uh, he has most of his stuff. I didn't lose health. Yeah, I know, I said that. I lost, like, all of your health. no he won. No, you said most of so, my, right. most well, of my health. Anybody, everybody who's taking a short rest is taking their short rest. Me and uh, Purple are going upstairs, I guess? Hmm? Why are you coming? Don't you need to rest? I just did. I just took the short rest, didn't I? If you're taking a short rest, then you wait downstairs while he goes upstairs. Oh, okay. Because you're resting, and he's taking the hour to explore. And okay. I get my spell slots back, because so, I'm, a, I'm uh, a warlock. So, dog. Yes, sir. You're exploring. Yes, sir. So you're going, uh, you're heading up the stairs. Yes, sir. The upper level of the tower is an ice box with windows set in almost every wall. A rusted iron ladder, bolted to the floor and ceiling, leads up to a wooden trapdoor. Mounted above the stone hearth is a dire wolf's head. The wind coming down the chimney howls in its stead. Can I look around for anything? Sure. Uh, you don't find anything up here, uh, although the windows on this floor are open to the elements, so there's been a lot, there's like snow drifts. Uh, there is the ladder. Uh, the ladder does appear to be relatively okay to climb. And the dire wolf's head is a dire wolf's head, so it's big and spooky. Like a normal wolf, but only dumb. It's like a normal wolf, only a little bit bigger. Uh, I like to go up the ladder. All right. Ten foot tall gold plated statues stand atop the battlements, facing outward. Each one depicts a female human knight holding a lance. The cold wind stirs the snow under which you see human skeletons clad in rusty mail. Can I search the skeletons and statues, see if there's anything? Go right ahead. <laughs> you search the remains. Uh, there is four skeleton remains here. Uh, you find tattered bits of cloth, broken longbows and arrows, rusted blades in ruined sheaths, rusty ma chain mail, and lastly, the hilt of a sword. I pull said sword. Sure, you pull it, uh, pulling up a hilt. Just the hilt. Just the hilt. No blade. Just the hilt. What's the fucking point of this then? It's uh, it's a fancy hilt. It's got a, it's got a. It's kind of like a black hilt with a blue gem in the pommel, or not uh, the pommel, in the in the handguard. I, I guess I'll take the hilt. Okay. Uh, add one sword hilt to your inventory. Cool. Can I attempt to attune to it while we're traveling? You can attempt to attune to it while everybody's taking their short rest, because okay. it takes one hour to do that. Can I attempt to attune to it at now then? Okay, sure. Uh, you take the hour to uh, identify and attune to this weapon. Yes. 
Oh. You have found the Sun Sword. Oh, we, we all remember what this is. reaches level 8. <laughs> hey, I was right! Um, is a senti- Is this exactly the same weapon as, uh, from- That Cole uses, yeah. Curse of the Shards? Yes. Yeah, it's the exact, exact same thing. thing. Oh, nice. Where they got it from. Uh, is Nank play once- uh, We're level 8 now? You are level 8 now. Um, hey, uh, can I give you some advice on that one, uh, glitch? No. Uh, it's- oh, I said okay. no. Never mind. I'm reading. Cool. You got the sun sword. It is a plus two long sword that deals radiant damage instead of slashing. When you hit an undead with it, it takes 1d8 extra radiant damage. It provides 15 feet of uh, bright light and an additional 15 feet of dim light and it acts as sunlight it's also a finesse weapon and it's versatile as well it means i can use this and still use my unarmed attack right so um you can use what i was trying to tell you was you can use your monk there's a monk ability from tasha's that allows you to put a key point into a weapon and it becomes a monk weapon for you. Well, yeah, but I'm I'm not that monk. No, no, it's it's a Tasha's optional ability. Every monk's that type of monk. I I have no idea what ability. What's your about. weapons proficiencies, dog? Uh, simple weapons. Uh, here you go, short swords. Also, you can use it because fun. you're proficient in sword, short swords. Mm-hmm. Um, if you I are proficient with sword, short uh, with short swords, you are proficient with the sun blade. Cool. Uh, I would just like to say that sun sword is not just a handle. It has a thin crystal blade as strong as steel. Yeah, but it's not attached. No, it doesn't. The, no, it doesn't. The, the, the sun sword is off. just the hilt. The blade is uh, lost. Yeah, it literally uh, said that. The hilt, which is sentient, knows that it can never be reunited with its original crystal blade. Okay. Is the sun sword in? No, it's not. It's a sun blade. Oh. The only differences between the sun blade and the sun sword is the sun sword has uh, sentience. Cool. So. There's I'm only ever going to use it as damage one, so that doesn't matter. Uh... Ooh. That's where you so set up. Is the, sun sword, is the sun sword, like, still in the game? Is there, like, two? Hmm? Is there two different, like, sun swords? No. Nope. Huh? It wasn't originally a sun sword, or, or a sun blade. It was originally a different kind of magical blade, but now it's Sunblade because the uh, the actual blade is gone. I think originally it was like a flame tongue or something. No, wasn't it a moon moon blade? It was some kind of magical sword. I thought it was a moon blade. Anyway, uh, don't forget to do your level ups. Oh yeah, I need to level that. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. I got you. I'm, I'm doing it right now. How do you get anyways? Uh, hmm? How do I get it for level 8? Uh, good question. I get another key point. Okay, that's... 8 more health per... Liam. Proficiency doesn't change. Yay, guys, I've got 3rd level spells now. Put them up to 72. What are you taking? Ah, oh, stability score improvement. Uh, wizard or? Yeah, I'm wizard? taking cleric. cleric. Oh wait, yeah, wait, wizard. Yeah, sorry. Back up yeah, here. you're going. Yeah. Uh, paladins at level eight get ah ability score improvement. What are you planning yeah, here, same. Liam? 
Uh, I'm probably just gonna put it all in strength because uh, that's my main damage dealer right now. Okay, just strength. There's no point me putting in. Eighteen so strength. Bring it now. to a uh, eighteen, which is a four. Nice. Time to look at. You also get another spell because you're leveled up. Oh wait, a second. Cool. For, for ability uh, score, you can choose to do that as a um. It can be a plus two in something, a plus one in two things, or a feat. Okay, I'm I'm gonna look at feats because I don't see doing a plus one being worth it right now. I think I should just take Warcaster. Hmm. So I think I probably should take Warcaster. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, I could always take a lot. Nate. First off, uh, you can roll a hit die. I already did. Uh, was it? Four. It was four. Okay, you can take the uh, you can take the average instead. So five plus your con mod. And at 8th level, you get an ability score improvement, uh, a feature from your Divine Domain, which I believe is Graves, yeah? What kind of cleric are you, Nate? That's a good question. He's Grave. Grave? All right. Uh, then you have potent spellcasting. Uh, you can add your wisdom modifier to the damage you deal with any cleric cantrip. And you also get your ability score improvement. And uh, destroy undead is now CR one. What's an ability score again? Uh, whatever. Scores you want to add. Uh, ability score improvement means you can add a plus two to one of your stats, uh, or a one to two of your stats, or you could take a feat. Hmm. So, uh, if your, for example, wisdom is 18, you can make it 20. Uh, stats cannot exceed 20 unless you're using specific magical items, such as. Uh, special tomes that increase your stats. Can I think about that for a minute? You ever see a cleric with an 18 strength? <laughs> yes. Yes, all the time. Pretty common, actually. Yeah, war clerics. I played or, one. Or most clerics that uh, yeah, that hit things with a mace. Which is most, which is almost all of them, give or take. They start with a mace. You oh, end no. up usually uh, always ending up using <laughs> your mace more than your spells. Uh, give me a second there, Nate. I'm going to take most of your just, spells go to healing. Uh, Word of Radiance. Oh, guys, the spell I took, by the way, was Phantasmal Killer. So that way I can frighten the creature and do a ton of damage. Yeah, I want to swap out a couple of spells, too. Oh, yeah, okay. Can do. Uh, also, uh, Word of Radiance should be using your wisdom now. So, we'll plus five. Ooh. So, do you guys think I should change the uh, Eldritch Invocation I have that makes it so I can uh, turn to different creatures? The Sculptor of Flesh? You tell me. 
Make sure to cast Polymorph uh, once for our long rest. Oh, oh you should check something. something better. Uh, do you have... Okay, you do have those. You do not, however, have Blight or Death Ward currently. No, I don't. Uh, those are your domain spells from 7th level. No. Oh, that's so sad. Next, um... Level I gain the ability to run across water without uh, falling. Well, now I can cast a fireball that does a wisdom save and, and does, like, fucking... This is gonna be fun. Uh, old Nate now has Death Ward. So uh, he can prevent people from uh, from dying. dying. Yeah, that's gonna be useful. Alright, can you swap out Spare the Dying? Or uh, Toll the Dead? Yes, I can. Is Meteor Swarm a good spell? Yes. Actually, you might want to hold on to that and get rid of light. Because okay. you've got a couple of people in the party now who have weapons that just produce light. Yeah, get rid of light then. Alright. Okay, told the dead. I had to set that up because it's a bit of a pain to set up. It is a necromancy. I chose to take Eldritch Smite. So I'm debating between Eldritch Smite or um, Life Drinker. Wait, no, I can't take Life Drinker. Never mind. That made my choice much easier. Uh, okay. Just looking at the couple of spells that I want to change. Hmm? Just looking at a couple of other spells. Open that up, up and uh, closing the thing on me here, Nate. Sorry. Yeah, if we take false life out. That level up did basically nothing. And gonna replace that with. Go improvement. Yeah, basically did nothing for me. Yeah, gonna replace that with detect magic. Which soil are you trying to get rid of? Okay. Oh, false life. Uh, that's a domain spell. You can't get rid of that. The domain spells are just spells that you get because of your uh, grave domain. So you just have them. They don't oh, take okay. up your uh, preps, your prepared spells. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, uh. Speaking of prepared spells, nothing. you should have one more because you're leveled up. Then that would be the one I want, is Tech Magic. Okay. Dispel uh, Magic a, would be nice. And that is a ritual, so you can cast it without wasting slots. And 
Centaur, I think you're the only one who's able to take the spell magic here. Yep, because you're a caster, Jory. Uh, clerics nice. can get it now, too, I think. Oh, yeah. Can Artificers, they? bards, clerics, druids, paladins, sorcerers, warlocks, and wizards can get it. All right. Tasha's. Well, you yep. all, all, also, Jory, you did level up uh, to have third level spells for wizard. Yeah, I'm taking so you it. I'm taking it. it. Yeah. yeah. I was talking to myself when I said it would be. Oh. Yeah. It's not like you were directing it towards dad. No. He's a crazy person. We're all a little mad down here. Also, while I mean, I'm you here... think you're French after all. No, that's not us. The same as still stands. Also, Nate, you have one slot for your uh, fourth level now, because you leveled up to gain a slot. Okay. I, whoever, still on two slots. Uh... You decided on your ability score there, Nate? Uh, just looking. The yeah, you sound go. like you're talking through a vortex. Sorry, go Constitution. You know what you could do instead of that? What's that? Is take the tough feet. What's that do? Uh, by the tough, your hit point maximum e uh, increases by an amount equal to twice your level when you gain this feat. Whenever you gain a level thereafter, your hit point maximum increases by an additional two p two points. So yeah. you'll get sixteen. Uh, you'll get sixteen health on top of what you currently get. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, you you can see why I'm suggesting it instead of just adding to your constitution. I can. Uh, Justin, did you see what I did? What? I dispelled the green flames. Oh, okay. You're casting dispel magic on the green flames? No. Yep. Uh, that's an actual thing here. You blow uh, up. Get fucked, coward. You need to make an ability check with your spellcasting ability. So, uh, I think your spellcasting ability for that is intellig uh, is intelligence. So just make an intellect roll. No, not save. Yep. Okay. You dispel the you dispel it. DC sixteen. That was a sixth level spell that you just dispelled. Okay, that's good. When do I get counter spell? What level is that? Uh, third level. I have it. Third level? Okay, I'm gonna grab yeah, counter spell. spell too. Third level. Man, fourth level spells suck. That's why I'm a wizard. Yeah, my fourth level spells are Blight and Phantasmal Killer. The only reason I can get Phantasmal Killer is because I'm a warlock. Uh, my warlock pack patron is a genie. And how many spells can I have, Justin? You said I. Well, now that you've leveled up again, uh, you just give me a second. Wizards get a lot of spells. Yep. Yeah. The utility caster, of course, they have a lot of spells. All right, uh, Nate now has eighty-six hit points. Uh, congrats, Dad. How does Nate have more hit points? Cleric, and he just took tough. I have tough. Then he must have been rolling better than you, because <laughs> you can roll for them. Remember? No, I have to roll for them. He's gotten multiple crits for health. Also, I think we. I think cleric actually has higher average than you. Does it? Uh, I think so. What's the, what's the average? Five. No idea. I think it's well, the same for you, for you. What's your average? I think it's five as well. Nah, I have no idea. He probably was rolling higher for you early on. 
He's gotten multiple crits. God would do it. Okay, uh... Tegan's got two more hit points than me. Yeah, let's go with stone shape. Screw it. Yeah, I'm... You're right. You're... I'm, I'm just a pure warlock. I don't have the greatest hit points either, though. No, I was saying you've got two more hit points than me. Like, nothing bad about it, I was just saying. What happens hit point-wise if you class? You keep ones of your original classes. So the ones from the original class you keep, and then you get the new classes die each time you level. Uh, Jory, uh, at your current level you can have one more spell on top of the, uh, the 12 that you had. Because it's, uh, each time you level up, you gain one from your wizard level. Since it's intelligence modifier plus your wizard level for spells. I think. Or no, that's your preparing. Hold on. Learning. Uh, each time you gain a wizard level, you add two wizard level spell, or you add two wizard spells of your choice to your spellbook for free. So, in your spellbook, you can add two more, but, uh... They're not prepared. Okay. Correct. You can prepare them. Uh, you just have to sacrifice... I think, currently, you can prepare eight spells. Is no, six? nine spells, because you're... Because he's a fifth-level wizard, and he has 18 intelligence. So, plus four, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's nine spells. Nine spells okay. prepared and like 14 spells known. Just trying to count all the ones that I have that are wizard spells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine wizard spells, so I'm good. Okay, I think everybody's leveled up. I'm also going to cast Find Familiar. It's your familiar. Uh, I was going to use that cube that I sent. The one that you sent? Yeah, I sent a page that shows all the familiars that you can get. And it's in there. It comes from the uh, Frost... Rhymes of the Frost Maiden. It's a little frost cube. Uh, that's not a frost cube. Well, the thing that you sent me is definitely not a frost cube. Well, that's what they use for their stat block. What, the oblix spawn? Yeah, they use the oblix spawn stat block as their stat block, the frost cube. Are you ice, sure that you're not just cube. seeing that and misinterpreting something? No, <laughs> because... I got it from a YouTube video of people talking about familiars that you can get from, like, the list of familiars. Yeah, but that's not listed in this, what, you're, what you sent me. I looked up Frost Cube and there's nothing for it online. It's Ice Cube. It's Ice Cube? Yeah, Gelatinous Ice Cube. Gelatinous Nut. The Latinus Ice Cube is a homebrew thing, Jory. Oh, well, they, this, these guys said that it was... Legacy Award. Oh, these guys said it was in their, uh, in the Rhymes of the Frost Maiden. It's homebrew. Oh. The creep is saying it's in their world for it. Doesn't mean that it's an official thing. Yeah. 
Okay. There are a number of critters you can take, though. Like, uh... Tressum. That's, that's one of them, yeah. It was the flying cat thing I had. Flying monkey. You could take the abyssal chicken. Flying monkey. Mm, that's from, uh, from Descent into Avernus, the abyssal chicken. God, they're terribly gross. I don't like them. You could take the Almirage. It's a bunny with a unicorn horn. I want a flying monkey. Mm. They're so cute. Who's in my library? Hey Justin, could I have a flying monkey? Uh Hey my pretties. You could just use a raven stat block and reflavor it so it looks like a monkey. There is no flying monkey's already a thing. It's remembering wrong, it's from Homebrew. From uh, Tell uh, I'm surprised, Jory. Quite shocked at you, actually, that you're not just asking for a raven. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm Never trying more. to stay away from the raven stuff with this character. I want a flying monkey because I want to be the witch, wicked witch of the west. Ah, uh, sure, but it's gonna take me a bit to set that up because flying monkey is not in the compendium. It's hard to find in general. No, it's not. Oh, it isn't. I dare you find that. Well, whilst I do that, is anybody, uh, now that you've finished your short rests uh, and leveled up, what would you like to do? Would you like to continue further along up the mountain, or would you like to return home? We might as well continue our further along, just in case there is something up here we need. All right, guys? Continue along. Oh, wait, this was all for the sword. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Hard. Um, I'm gonna name him Chim Chim. I am perfectly fine with you guys continuing up the mountain if you wish to. And I'm gonna give him a I actually have that prepped and prepared. I have that prepared for. Hey, can let's keep going up the mountain. Be a shame for you to not use it if it's prepared for. I go and get my donkey. Yeah, oh yeah, you can get your donkey now since Jory has dispelled the uh the thing there. Alright. Uh Jory, you can get a space hamster. Further down, uh along the way a bit, uh the snowy pass comes to a gorge spanned by a stone bridge. At each end of the bridge is a 30-foot tall, 30-foot wide stone arch. Atop each one are two statues of armored knights on horseback with lances, charging toward one another. The wind bites and howls like wolves as it passes through the gorge. What do all of you do? Hmm. Nothing. Keep Egan, you're right, I could have a giant space hamster, and I can be Boo. Uh, the bridge have... is 10 feet wide and 90 feet long. You can also have a gazer. The ugly. It's really just a small, um... I know what it is. Whatever the hell a chimeric rat is. Well, but, uh, what y'all doing? We're going up, aren't we? I forgot to unmute myself. 
Well, I did just 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 describe something, and none of you none of you are doing anything. You uh, didn't keep talking. I didn't hear you. Stone. What's the, what's the stone? Okay, yes. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go cross it, I guess. Okay. Is everybody else crossing? Yeah. Sure. Hey, Jory, why the low walls part? that enclose the stone bridge have fallen away in a couple places, but the bridge appears intact. A black cloaked rider on a charcoal colored horse guards the middle of the bridge. Hello, may we pass? Uh, you approach the figure? Yep, and I ask if we can pass. Uh, give me a second. It's but a flesh wound. It is um, but a flesh wound. Fine then, I'll get on Dad's donkey. Yeah. What? Riding on the donkey. Thank you. Uh, you approach it, and uh, as as you get within uh, like eyesight of it, and you can see its face, uh, you uh, are shocked to see stand sitting atop a uh, atop a horse, staring right at you is Strahd von Zarevich. Uh, as as you approach, uh, a gust of wind blows, and he just like blows away like a pile of ash. Do I know who Strahd is? Yes. You've been here long enough to know exactly who, or you, you know who he is. You've seen him at the camp a couple of times. Uh, so yeah, you you know who Strahd is. You know and he's know... a bit of a big, you know he's a bit of a big deal. And I know, do I know he's evil or anything? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. You would definitely be aware that he's very evil. If you're Vistani, you definitely know he's evil. Okay. Just making sure. Because <laughs> you never know. Also, Justin, I grabbed my tent when I was leaving. Yeah, I figured you did. Yeah. I was just uh, stating I was going it. to uh, look back at the group. I was not the only one who's seen that, right? With a look of concern on my face. You were the only one to see that. I can continue on the way to the bridge. You are insane. I probably seen it. No, you have to gaslight her. <laughs> yeah, gaslight. <laughs> Come on, man. Make her think she's insane. It's fun. All the not good characters are just making making her feel like she's insane. Oh, okay. that's what you do anyway. Well, suddenly you have a plan to chip. Uh, what's the plan then, guys? Just going across the bridge. Yeah, We're keep going. going. Across the bridge, but I'm going to be very fucking cautious and get ready to fly just in case it does happen. Not flying yet, but just in case I do need to. Howard. What are you expecting to happen? The bridge to fall out or something. Oh, okay. Why don't right. you go across first since you can fly? Um, can I use, since my familiar is not here, but... I have its stat block. Can I just use it to fly up and stare, or like, scout for us? Because I can see through its eyes. Sure, yeah. Okay. I'll allow for that. Yeah. I think you should say fly, uh, my pretty heavy. As you are crossing the bridge, you get to about midway down the middle. And, uh... I need... Yeah. What's your passive perceptions, everybody? Uh, uh my passive is six, oh. eleven. Thirteen. Uh it is thirteen. Mine is sixteen. Fifteen. Okay. Uh Jory. You detect it with your flying monkey. Okay. Diving toward the bridge is a creature of unearthly size. A bird so monstrous that its wings blot out the sky. I'm going to roll a... Uh, guys? I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna flip a coin. 
on ahead, I need Nathan to make a dexterity saving throw. On a tails, I need Liam to make a dexterity saving throw. Is it because we have horses? It is because you have horses. <laughs> I am the bird. Isn't Flipping Jory that. on Liam's? Isn't Jory on Dad's donkey? I was joking. Yes. I mean, I'm on my Tails. horse. Tails, Liam, make a dexterity yeah. saving throw as you dive off of your horse to safety. Well, it's not gonna have a great meal of that horse. He's gonna summon it back to me later. Roll it. Okay, yeah. Uh, you successfully dive out of the way as a massive rock flies in and snatches your horse up like nothing and flies away. Ugh, that fucker again. You know, you know those, uh, you know those videos you see of like people releasing a bunny into the wild and then the hawk comes in and snags it. <laughs> yes, exactly like that. A, a rock <laughs> comes flying in and scoops your horse up, and it's gone. Did he just steal a skeletal horse? A skeletal, yes, he did. Little... He's not going to be pleased. Well, I don't know about you guys, but we got what we came for. We should go back. Nah, we should not going to be when the horse disappears, either. Brennan's for cowards. Uh, after, like, a little while, I'm going to resummon the horse, like, uh... As he says that, I'm just gonna look at him like, You are one to talk! <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'd say we go back. This is probably a... not a great venture. We're probably you all gonna be You guys are cowards. Come on, let's do this. So far, Very we've well. seen, um... So far, we've seen Strahd, and we've seen a, a rock of it steal a horse. <laughs> Very well, let's continue forward. I also like to summon my horse again once we get across the bridge. Is it okay if I drink while we walk? <laughs> well, you're riding, uh, yeah. so... <laughs> I'm gonna drink while we're dry. As you reach the, the other bridge. end, and one of the statues dry. atop this arch has crumbled, leaving only the hindquarters of the horse intact. The mountain pass <laughs> continues beyond. I would like to summon my horse again. Okay. You summon your horse again. Isn't it? Oh, hold on. Was it dead or was it, uh, did it, by the time we went across the bridge, was it dead? Or was it still <laughs> dead, alive? It, it would definitely have died by the time you, it got away. Okay, then. It has a spell slot. Okay, got my horse back. Okay. Liam, you need to get the haste spell of your able. <laughs> I have shields of faith. That's good enough. I don't think you use Hapel, actually. Oh, okay. I also have Bless, I think. Liam, yeah, trust me. Shield of Faith is nothing compared to Haste. I think I can get Haste, Jork, Ian. You said you can't. I, I posted in chat a hawk picking up a baby. What the fuck, Jory? Why? That's That was fake. Yeah, it's fake. It's not it real. It was, uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, why did you fake. post that in general? <laughs> Wait, what is what it? What happened? It, it, it's, a, it's an old video that went around that somebody made of a. I don't even think it's a hawk. I think it's supposed to be like a red eagle or something, but it, it flies down. Like and a baby to me. It, it flies uh, down and grabs a toddler, and that was the original video name was like Hawk Grabs Toddler or something, and it got. It went viral, it went on all yeah. the TV and everything, and then it came out that the dude made it, uh, fake. Yeah, what part of it is fake is on the Both um, parts, the, the, the whole thing, oh, so it's it was... completely innocent. That's yeah, quite impressive, awful. to be fair. Yeah, it, it is, it's very that cool. very they, well done. They managed to make it look as real as... I think, actually, uh, my guess is that it's a, uh, it's a, the toddler's real. And yeah. it's a guy who's been keyed out lifting the toddler up. And then they added in a crappy CGI bird. I thought... Because I feel like there's got to be a reason for that guy to be... Because look like, it looks like he's running over once he notices. it. Well, that was, that was Liam's horse just a second ago. Yeah, and, yep. anyway. <laughs> um, by the way, the two people... The two uh, types of artificers you can learn... Not artificers, sorry. The two types of... Um, Paladins can learn it is Oath of Vengeance and Oath of Glory. I would like to ask my my horse what happened, since I can technically talk to my horse mentally. 
I don't know, I was just crossing this bridge and then I fucking died. <laughs> I want to speak goblin. It only speaks goblin. The horse speaks goblin, guys. Gobbles, go gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Uh, what's your familiar, Jory? Is it Celestial, Fae, or Fiend? Uh, Celestial? Okay. I just need that because that's what Find Familiar does. It changes the type. So he has a flying monkey? Yep. Mm, monkey. His name's Chim Chim. He's named after uh, Kurt Cobain's monkey. <laughs> Oh, he would have a monkey. He did have a monkey. He did. So can you tell me, what the hell is a chimeric at, rat? You know what a chimera is? I, I figured that much. Okay, I looked up an and image of it, and yeah, it's exactly it. what you expect it to be. Yeah. It's a rat with a snake head and a... And, um... I think it's a grasshopper head. No, it's... That's... Literally, all you need to add together is any of Chimera and Rat, and just guess the two other animals. Yeah, it's a snake, a uh, scorpion's tail by the looks of it, and I think that's either a grasshopper or whatever the hell that scythe-like Pokemon is. Wait, where is Chimera? Right, you, like, where did you read that to? Chimeric Rat? Yeah, why did you even mention that? Oh, that's also He's reading Find Familiar. Oh! Okay. Yeah, it's an ice wind dale. We're definitely not an ice wind dale, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't involved? think we're in Kansas anymore. I don't know why I started questioning myself. That's it. We need to make a realm of dread that's literally just based around uh, fucking the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking despise that. Damn, oh, I just on. came up with a really interesting boss fight if I ever make a campaign where everybody's really small. The Chimeric Rat, but he uses a stat block of a regular Chimera. Neil, I've always wondered where the red brick road goes. New Jersey. Philadelphia. No, no, it, it, it goes down the red brick road. What's your point? It, it goes to Philadelphia. Road, the red brick road goes to Detroit. <laughs> I bet none of us are from the U.S. Yeah, we're all dissing the U.S. I always said it goes to Cornwall, but fair enough. The U.S. just sucks, man. I mean, the U.K. is not better. I mean, they got jelly eels. I mean, it's it's definitely better. Dude, jelly eels. Free healthcare. Spotted yeah, free healthcare. dick. <laughs> yeah, what, what's not to love about spotted dick zone? <laughs> the name's hilarious. Exactly. <laughs> There's nothing to hate. <laughs> There's nothing to hate. Everyone loves spotted dick. I know very you love spotted dick, about Keegan. About Keegan. I, I couldn't hear I couldn't hear a glitch, but I feel like it's offensive. I said you you sound very enthusiastic about it. Yeah, it was offensive. How was that offensive? Yeah, he's very he's very enthusiastic about spotted dick. He also, loves that spotted dick. That's quite similar to a bird name. Uh, there's just a bird called tit, and the, if there's two of them next to each other, it is actually called a pair of tits. I love that. Yeah. There's also there's also the blue. There's also boobies. boobies. Yeah, the yeah, blue boobies. boobies. Blue footed booby. There are multiple types of that. This is blue tits. I believe there's other types. Okay. Uh, in player's journal, vampire. It didn't be controlled by a vampire. There you go, monkey. monkey. I want to go back. I want to be monkey. Uh, one of my uh, friends apparently dissed somebody else by saying, I think you're the first person who's ever managed to mentally achieve the rank of monkey. 
for the. I'm not gonna say that. Never mind. I know what you were about to say, and yeah, that's very offensive, Jory. Mm, monkey. Does monkey. my monkey only have three hit points? Yep. Okay. I could touch him. My thing would die. Yeah. You were taking. Uh, have... It's a familiar, so definitely. Makes okay. me want to kill it. I can bring it back to life. We can kill it over and over. I can just bring it back to life by summoning it. I have one here, Justin. Let me... Can we use logic that the more it dies? I mean, Dad, you're able to bring my, my backup character back to life no matter what. Because they get free, um, you have free resurrection. Not in Barovia. No, he has an actual ability where they get, whenever somebody tries to resurrect them, it's free. Okay, so we're still on this bridge, right? Uh, you've crossed it by now. Oh, thank God. Yeah, here's the ability I'm talking about, Jory. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> Pun. Yeah. Ah, uh, poor Jory. I always knew he wanted a monkey. Why does it sound weird to hear Zoan laugh, even if it's a fake one? Because Zo Zoan is a joyless, hateful creature. Because I've never once laughed at your jokes. <laughs> That's not a challenge. Or because you're just not funny. I've heard not. you laugh before. Yeah, Jory has. I'm trying to think yeah. if I have. I don't think I have to. Not like By the way, Zoan, happy belated birthday. Oh, thanks. Your birthday? It was my birthday last Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, happy unbirthday. Unbirthday, it's your death my day. Birthday. <laughs> my oh, age uh... hasn't reverted at all. <laughs> 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 He's rever He's got button syndrome. Benjamin Button syndrome. So in this year, are we gonna get a uh, Rick's Christmas Carol? Uh, Rick's is I dead. About doing a full. Like full song, but I fucking I love it. it. <laughs> Please do. Uh, are we getting a Ritz birthday song? Oh my god! If no. you do it, I can get like somebody to it draw up an animation of happy. Ricks in Hell singing "Merry Christmas." Why would he Why be the in hell? Why would he be in hell? He'd be he's in he'd be in cobalt heaven. <laughs> no, he's a cleric. Anyway, so to be fair, he was part of a party who did pretty terrible things. As you continue up the mountain, happy, but... it event. As you continue up the mountain, the road fades away under a covering of snow, but it takes you enough to see, to see the facade of some kind of temple carved into the sheer mountainside ahead. The front of the structure is 50 feet high and has six alcoves containing 20 foot tall statues. Each statue is carved from a single block of amber and depicts a faceless hooded figure, its hands pressed together in a gesture of prayer. Well, Between the God, two innermost touched. statues is a 20-foot-tall archway with a staircase leading down. Nobody touched the statues. Can I roll a history because I've been here for a while, like in Barovia? Uh, we will pick up on that next week. Oh, next time. Okay. As it's now 7 o'clock, and uh, next week, the party will explore the Amber Temple. Scary. <laughs> we're all gonna fucking die. And the baby fucking no, we're dies. Gonna Amber. No, I'm no, excited. we're gonna be killed by Welcome, um, welcome everyone, to the part of the game that was referred to by many as the meat grinder. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, so, on. so, yeah? Can you say it in that little girl's voice from, the Res from Resident Evil? You're all going to die down here. Uh, I'm, I can't do a good British accent. Please don't okay. try. Glitch, you're oh my up. Dog. Stop. You gotta do this. Stop. It's your only purpose. Stop. Stop. It's your only use in this world. No, stop. You're all going to die. You're all going to die down here. Right. You're all going to die.